today man is wondering how come the incidence of cancers is increasing and why so many people are getting heart attacks these days. Is it something new? No. It is said by our elders that there are 84 crore species in the nature, both plants and animals put together. No other animal or plant is getting new diseases. It's only humans who are getting new diseases year after year, which baffle the scientists and the medical specialists. The incidence of cancer of pancreas, lung, colon, that is your intestine, it is all on the increase. Similarly, you also notice that youngsters are now falling prey to heart attacks and they are losing their life. Their families are put on the road because they don't have any livelihood. The only breadwinner left for heavenly abode. Is there any relation between what we eat, how we cook the food and the emergence of new patterns of diseases? A lot of research has been done in University of Minnesota and this is a very important reminder to all of you that the new methods of cooking, for example, chicken is something which everyone relishes or most of them relish in the non-vegetarian foods. And these days you have got all sorts of new varieties of cooking of chicken, which perhaps was not there, say a generation earlier. People now talk of bamboo chicken. You go to some shops and they give you a bucket of chicken and then there is now a barbecue chicken where the so-called chicken meat is directly roasted on the hot coal and that is supposed to be a delicacy. It has been found in this research which was conducted predominantly in University of Minnesota and elsewhere that when you are subjecting the direct contact of heat between the meat which you are cooking including red meat and the coal where the direct fire is actually heating these up some chemical transformations occur and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, heterocyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and fatty acid modifications, polycyclic fatty acid derivatives are all released and this actually makes this particular food nearly toxic. What is cancer? Normally cells should reproduce at a particular level, rate and after that they should stop. There is an Indian mechanism of this in the nature. But we are altering that and we find that this genetic expression has changed because of the chemical induction. Present research shows that when there are so many causes of variety of cancers, one of the important causations is dietary factors. So what you eat can determine whether you are going to develop cancers or not. Therefore, be wary of the amount of non-vegetarian food you take and also the way you cook. First of all, you come off the fantasy of eating non-vegetarian food and second, cooking it in various unnatural means and most importantly, for God's sake, don't teach your children who are innocent that this is the way to enjoy life. Give them challenges like excelling in academics, not challenges like eating all sorts of food which was probably in pre-civilized area and time people were directly heating and eating. And that is what, unfortunately, the life has gone in a full circle and we have come back to that where we eat in the most barbaric way and we call it barbecue and that is the reason why there is a big queue outside the hospitals. Eat well, eat healthy food, eat vegetarian food and be healthy.